Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located just down the street from all the shiny lights on the strip. You come here on vacation, and you want to see some cool cars, come on in and check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Check it out, one of my favorites. 2018 Camaro ZL1 1LE. Folks, it's, it's, this, these cars are stupid. Six speed transmission, the bright, bright blue, this guy, this uh, person picked. I'm your living, breathing condition report here at Celebrity Cars. Uh, I'm the guy that uh, goes over stuff you can't really see online. You see a bunch of photos, you see a couple videos of other car markets. Uh, they whip around the car real quick and that's great, but you really don't see details. You don't see where a little scratch is, where a little ding is, if there's a uh, uh, curb rash on the wheels, if the front nose bump cone's been banged up. They all just, they don't tell you any of that stuff. Here at Celebrity Cars, we do our very best to analyze, uh, study, and um, spit back to you what we see. Um, folks, this, this uh, Camaro has a whopping, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's just under 4,500 original miles, uh, said miles on the odometer. Pretty cool, huh? So barely used. Um, <clears throat> I, 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 this car was in a storage, it was a dusty storage, okay? And we got it and it was, uh, it was very dusty. And we got it all shined up. What we didn't do was spend a whole lot of time with a detail wheel, wheel and buff it and get out maybe a couple little watermarks that are left over and stuff like that. Um, so we might see a couple of those, but we're really more focused on scratches and stuff and, and marks that I don't think will come out with a, de with a professional detail. We just got this in. We're busy as heck around here. So uh, come, on, come on down here. Let me show you some imperfections here. Overall, this car is beautiful. There's no uh, major anything. Down here on this lower nose cone though, we've got, uh, we met a curb here, we met something here. So there's a little scratch down here, little ding down here, uh, and looks like somebody kind of sort of stepped on it here, uh, kind of thing. Now, if I run my hand all the way across the bottom, I don't feel any major crazy scratches. There's one right here. This is very popular getting in and out of the door, or the garage, uh, you know, driveway, supermarket, whatever, and, uh, and this one right here. So a small scratch here, a small scratch right here. Underneath the rest of it's pretty darn good, folks. Uh, I'm gonna get down here and look at this un uncleaned piece of rubber down here. And it's all there with uh, very, very little wear. Okay, working away up here. I don't know how this got so dusty so fast, but whatever. Um, this black is still real nice and black. The front grill is in good shape. It's on here real good. Um, I see a leftover bug and small mark right here in the plastic uh over here i have another bug that wasn't taken off correctly um i haven't gotten this down this close <laughs> and down to the front of this yet so we've got a couple little marks that are down here a couple little extra bugs that weren't taken away you don't need to show them the bugs we'll get the bugs off but other than that we're we're, we're in pretty darn good shape i don't see any great big chunks i don't see any great big holes or nicks down here just a couple leftover bugs that the detailers didn't get to. So the only thing sticking out down here would be this. All right, now moving ourselves up here, this blue is all beautiful blue. There are no chips in the blue. There's a couple little marks that can come out with a detail um, if I'm being very picky. And then when you get up here to the one uh, LE hood, we have a, a mark in this wrap here, unfortunately, that's the way it goes. Um, there's a couple little itty bitty, you can see where the blue comes through. Blue coming through over here, blue coming through uh, right here as well. Um, the whole main cone, uh, carbon fiber cone of the engine, or on in the center of the hood, all looks good. I don't see any blemishes or scrapes in that. Over here, all looks good. Let's move up to the windshield. The windshield looks stellar. Uh, I think that, oh no, that's a here you go. That's the, the biggest chip in the. <laughs> Uh, folks, that, that nothing needs to be replaced. Every windshield a used car has a couple little nicks on it. You get up here to the top, this is just a great big beautiful sea of blue. No acorns fell on it, no hail damage, all that kind of stuff. We're all in good shape. Real windshield's great. This back trunk, did I tell you that this came from a, 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 a friend of, of uh, celebrity cars? So we kind of know this car pretty well too. The whole top of the spoiler here is all in great shape. I see a couple, you know, little marks in it here and there. Um, pretty sure a detailer can get most of that out. Um, let's look at the back bumper since we're back here. Nobody's backed into anything. Uh, the black down here is beautiful, shiny black. This whole back area is in beautiful shape. Tail lights are good. Logo's awesome. 
everything looks kind of brand new back here, to be honest. Same thing with the trunk. And then we get over here. I'm just staying up top. Then we'll go down the sides in just a minute. Yeah, the whole roof is beautiful. Uh, looks like we have a leftover bird poop right here that would have to come out via a detailer. I don't know if you okay. can see it or not. Yeah, um, but uh, that was one that's set in. You get, mm, get there and get it off real good. Um, actually, I'm not positive that that'll disappear, but I think most of it will. Um, bird poop is a terrible thing to have sit on your car. Uh, whole windshield over here, minor itty bitty little things. I'm not gonna go over them because they're too small and it's uh, you know on every car. There's a real small mark right there, I just saw. Okay, let's work our way down the passenger side here. First wheel, front wheel and tire, there's zero curb rash. The wheels are still nice and black. The brake calipers are beautiful. Tires look good. Oh, this is awesome. No dings, no scratches. Uh, a very mild one right there that you can barely see. I'm not sure if that could be wiped off or not. Working our way down here, all this looks beautiful. And then you get down here to this rear wheel. Uh, all this is, you know, the barrel of the wheel needs to be cleaned, but no curb rash and all in great shape. Okay, we've gone over the back here, over to the driver's side. I'm gonna work our way up. The uh, black down there, once again, is nice and black. This whole quarter panel's great, not a ding. Zero curb rash on this wheel, nice and clean. Folks, this is just, a, you know, with the mileage on this car, you can't really expect to find a whole lot. I, I've got nothing down the doors. Not even the, a, a hint of a ding of any sort. Um, yeah, it's just some smudge from water coming out of the thing. Was there something up there? Yeah. And your front wheel and tire, we're in good shape here. All looks great. Folks, this is smoke and ride. Let's see what the engine looks like. I don't have the keys on me. Do I have the keys on? I do have the keys on me. Let's pop this trunk two times. Trunk's popped. Ooh. Yeah, that uh, the side skirt can, can get you if you're not paying attention. Your heel. All right. You are? Oh, I don't know. Well, you better get one because they're only gonna go up in value now. They're not making them anymore. Cars are done. I never thought I'd say that. I mean, we had, back in 2002, we were all upset and we're all, everybody's all upset all over again. A little more horsepower than back in 2002, don't you think? Uh, 2002, their final Camaro, the most horsepower it had was 345. How much is Quincy? it? Quincy. This car has, uh, I don't know, close to 700 or something crazy like that. Yeah, this is just... Yeah, six, it's, it's well over five, you know, I don't, I don't know, I'll have to ask our phone. Go to celebritycars.com or uh, comment down below as a lot, bunch of nerds on YouTube say quite a bit, but I, I, do you have any horsepower this thing has? Six, no. 670 or something like that, I don't know, okay. All right, well, go to celebritycars.com, learn all about it. It is an LT4 motor, so I think the horsepower is very substantial. This is a very, very fast car. Okay, there's your engine compartment. Let's look in the trunk and then we'll check out inside. Hey, well, man, this is, look at this, it's brand new. It's all brand new down in the caves. There's not even leftover water uh, uh, bubbled up down here and leftover water marks. It's beautiful. The trunk, I don't think anything's ever been in this trunk. Maybe for a hot second. Sweet. Okay. Close that up. Quincy, let's look in the passenger side first. Oh, yes. The logo and the M of Camaro walking in the door, and then you got the black with red stitching. It's just super, super cool. This is a 2018. They weren't even talking about getting rid of Camaros yet. Uh, folks, you, you have, uh, we've got some suede, some fine leather suede around the stick shift. Um, some heads up this or this uh, display here that we'll figure out what all that looks like once we turn it on. I haven't spent a whole lot of time in a in a fifth or sixth gen Camaro, um, <laughs> but I spent lots of times in fourth gen Camaros. But that's nerdy me. Uh, but folks, this is just beautiful. When we get outside in the sunlight, we're going to drive this around the block. We'll be able to see the interior a little bit better. But other than that, I see kind of zero wear. 
I mean, zero, zilch. Not even scrapes and scruffs getting in and out of the car. Just beautiful. Door's beautiful. Car's got it going on. Sounds incredible. Oh, yeah, do I have the keys on me? Let's start it while I'm here. Ooh. One foot on the clutch, one foot on the brake. I can feel the air conditioning go through the seats. So if you're a stickler for the, uh, the options and you want to know which options you get, maybe all cars have air conditioning through the seats. I don't know, but I can still, I can certainly feel it go right up my back right now. That's super cool. Yeah, this is, this is what you call a badass car, folks. Okay, that's enough of all this. We're gonna go for a quick ride around the block, okay? Let's stick around. Folks, as promised, we're going for a quick ride in this uh, Camaro. <laughs> this is just awesome. Uh, I already started for you in the showroom. You got to hear it in there. Uh, it's now sitting here currently running. It's got air conditioning blowing. Um, and uh, this is just, I, I didn't realize my seat was way up, so I was way up here. So I lowered my seat all the way down here. Got to pull the steering wheel down a little bit. Okay, clutch in. Going 45 miles an hour, we're gonna stop real quick here. Three, two, and one. Ah, oh, it's impressive. This is, a, this is a super muscle car, folks. Clutch back out. We're gonna go over two speed bumps. I'm gonna listen to, for some rattles, some things that uh, we wouldn't, we're not gonna hear any rattles in this car. This car's, uh, you know, kind of sort of, kind of sort of brand new for crying out loud. Gotta learn the clutch a little bit. Lots of power going on here. Speed bump number two. All right. No weird rattles. It's very quiet. Nothing squeaking. No rubbers making any kind of weird noise. The back seats aren't, uh, you know, shaking. Nothing's vibrating. Not a weird key in the glove box. Pretty awesome. All right. Out on the road. Here we go. car super smooth drives like a brand new car my foot's on the brake my right turn signals on I'm down into second gear pretty hard right whoa this is just insane okay pretty hard left okay wow <laughs> what a car <laughs> all right so, uh, yeah, you want to go to a racetrack or you just want to go to the grocery store? You're, oh, my Lord, look at all these cars coming. I don't know if I can make a U-turn here real well. Uh, I'm not going to make that. Okay, we're not going to go back out on the street because we just hit busy time of the day, I guess. But uh, yeah, got up to about 60 miles an hour there. I can tell that this car is uh, kind of sort of like new, folks. It just feels incredible. Nobody's beating on it. You could just tell these things when you get in some of these cars. This would be an easy car to have entirely too much fun with. But we'd see remnants of that all over the car and we don't with this. So very cool, very special, very nice. <clears throat> all right, folks, there you have it. 702-818-1031. Give us a call if you have any other questions about this Camaro. I don't expect it to be here long. We just got it in. Good luck. See you next time. Thanks.